God. I mean, why are you still Mormon? Why do you not want to study the church? I'm born and raised Mormon. I'm studying the church. I'm learning the truth. Joseph Smith, the good guy, his church gone. I want it restored. How simple is that to understand? Why do Mormons hate me? That they want me dead? Unless they know that it isn't the true church. That they are the enemy that is seeking to overthrow America and the rest of the world. Even Russia. To stab Russia in the back. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Because there's nothing the church can do to convince me they're true. Nothing. Not a single Mormon can bear a false testimony to me to convince me I'm wrong. That's next Sunday, not this Sunday, tomorrow. Why can't Mormons understand this? I'm under full attack. My life is destroyed. And here I am doing a video for you. And you still won't believe. Travis Wayne Goodsell, uh, watching uh, Deep Impact now, gave me the idea for the next video on the final day of videos for me. <coughs> The name of the spaceship that was going to go and, and destroy the comet coming to exterminate the Earth and all life on it, Wolf Biederman, was named the Messiah. And, uh, is it Kathy Lerner? from MSNBC gets to ask the question not everybody in the president's cabinet believes that the Messiah will save them Hebrews chapter 6 verse 6 Uh, let's do verse 5 first. And have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. Let's go to 4. four. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. If they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of God afresh, and put him to an open shame. Come back to section 77, verse 35, or 76, verse 35. Write it down there. I've gone over with you, over and over and over, how Joseph Smith, the Book of Mormon, tie in the Bible to Mormons. But the prophecies of the latter days in the Bible, both Old and New Testament, are to apply to Mormons specifically. And I drop the bombshell on you guys that we're not Christian. Not only are we not Christian, we do not believe in a supernatural deity of any kind. So 
Second Nephi chapter 3. For Joseph truly testified, saying, A seer shall the Lord my God raise up, who shall be a choice seer unto the fruit of my loins. Mortal man, mortal parents. And he shall be great like unto Moses. And his name shall be called after me, and it shall be after the name of his father. And for anybody who actually does research with the scriptures, not just reading it to memorize the stories, Joseph Smith history, with the visiting of Nephi, not Moroni. Quotes about the end of the world from Malachi, Isaiah, Joel, and Acts, which comes from Deuteronomy, which instead of prophet is called seer in the passage of the Book of Mormon I just read to you. And Joseph Smith tells us through this angelical visitation that that prophet or seer and in other places he's a shepherd was Christ. Now why do Mormons not believe this? This is our Mormonism. This is our origins. The current prophets all claim to be from Joseph's church. Jesus is our Christ, right? It has to be the name Jesus. There is no other Christ for Mormons. It's in the name of the church because it has to be the name in the church because it's the name of our Christ. Right? That's what Nelson tells us. But I just went over with you from our own Mormon scriptures, Joseph Smith is the Christ. And I've explained to you how we all become Christ in the temple. The light is confusing me as to whether the picture is blurry. I'd usually go by the clock to identify if it's blurry, but the sun is shining directly on it. And so if Joseph is the corner stone Christ, the Alpha, the author, <clears throat> who's the chief cornerstone of the cornerstone then? How can Mormons trust him? I, dear God, Nelson can't translate worth beans. And he gets up and humiliates himself, but because he's the president of the church, all Mormons get carried down into his false translations of anti science. And so, are Mormons? was uh. <laughs> and 
so the scripture about cornerstone and capstone if Joseph Smith is the cornerstone who then is the capstone in section 45 if Joseph Smith is our Christ and this as Joseph tells us is parable so it's not the Jews it's Mormons he says so right at the beginning hearken O you people of my church Joseph Smith is prophesying about Mormons learning about their true Christ that there will be Mormons uh, who have laughed at the idea that anybody but Jesus is the Christ Mormons will mock anybody who dares point out that Joseph was the Christ and that there will be a mortal man like Moses to be the capstone last days Christ they will scorn those oh you're evil and apostate and they will watch videos of anybody who tells Mormons about the true Christ so that they can accuse that person of iniquity it's right there in 49 and 50 you guys have fulfilled it and you just don't care you've put your Christ to an open shame and if you end up murdering him rather than trying all ways to save his life you will not be fulfilling Joseph Smith's prophecy in the parable form of verse 51 and 52 and 53 76 35 huh? starting in verse 32 I need to go earlier. Yeah, 28. <coughs> huh. well, we should go further back. Yeah, 25. And this we saw also and bear record that an angel of God who was in authority in the presence of God this is theology I still have that if I have the desire to do it we'll do it we're doing it here now partly who rebelled against the only begotten son I did do it in the middle end of uh, last night's video I think it was whom the father loved and who was in the bosom of the father was thrust down from the presence of God and the son this is Mormon theology here who was called perdition for the heavens Heavenly Mother went over that with you in that video wept over him he was Lucifer a son of the morning Let's see we've got Isaiah here which is in the Book of Mormon 
and we beheld and lo he is fallen is fallen even a son of the morning and while we'll, while we were yet in the spirit the Lord commanded us that we should write the vision for we beheld Satan King Set in Paleo Hebrew the adversary and Sharon I, I can't believe I screwed that one up Shar is Prince and the N is the suffix determinative for uh, kingdom so there you go if anybody saw that and and was confused. It's the kingdom of the prince from Moses 7. That old serpent, even the devil, who rebelled against God and sought to take the kingdom of our God and his Christ. Joseph Smith was assassinated, wasn't he? Who took the kingdom of Joseph Smith? Our Christ. who uses the sign of Lucifer on the keystone of the doors of the Salt Lake Temple. Oops. Wherefore he maketh war with the saints. He usurps the church of Joseph Smith and then wars against the Mormons within the church that he kidnapped and held hostage in Utah. And encompassed them round about. And we saw a vision of the sufferings of those Mormons with whom he made war and overcame. For thus came the voice of the Lord unto us. Thus saith the Lord concerning all those who know my power and have been made partakers thereof and suffered themselves through the power of the devil to be overcome and to deny the truth of church history of the true theology of the Christ, of doctrine, of scripture, of administration, of ritual, and defy my power. They are they who are the sons of perdition of whom I say that it had been better for them never to have been born. For they are vessels of wrath, doomed to suffer the wrath of God, with the devil and his angels in eternity, concerning whom I have said there is no forgiveness in this world nor in the world to come now remember mortal man mortal parents having denied the Holy Ghost after having received it and having denied the only begotten son of the Father, having crucified him unto themselves and put him to an open shame. These are they who shall go away into the lake of fire and brimstone with the devil and his angels, the only ones on whom the second death shall have any power. Yea, verily, the only ones who shall not be redeemed in the due time of the Lord, after the sufferings of his wrath. And they still 
say the triumph and the glory of the Lamb who was slain Joseph Smith was slain supposed to be restored by a future Mormon and so then they confuse us by putting in Jesus in verse 41 Amen. the Sun God that's his name that is the name of his priesthood that is the name of his church so any other name is the name of some other God or some other man so what's the name supposed to be Mormons why do you not understand why do you not care why will you allow your mortal with mortal parent Christ to be slain do you not believe you want to believe in Jesus huh created by a man as historical Constantine the first creed of Christianity of which Jesus said that's an abomination Notice how Joseph Smith doesn't say it's Jesus. It refers to him as Amen, the sun at noonday.